15 Interesting Facts About Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos You Didn't Know On Tuesday, February 2, 2021, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos has announced that he'll step down as the online retailer major CEO later this year, after 27 years at the helm. Bezos will now take over as Amazon's executive chairman and continue to be its biggest shareholder. Here is the 15 interesting facts about Jeff Bezos. Number 1. His mother, Jacqueline Bezos, gave birth to him when she was a teenager. According to CNBC, Bezos, then Jacqueline Guise Jorgensen, was barely 17 years old and a junior in high school when she gave birth to her son in 1964. At the time, her high school administrators told her she would not be permitted to finish her education there. After she was allowed to return under strict conditions, Jacqueline Bezos graduated and later divorced from Jeff Bezos' biological father, Ted Jorgensen, after less than a year of marriage. Jeff Bezos was just over a year old at the time. She struggled to make ends meet while working as a secretary and, at one point, didn't even have enough income to afford a phone. Determined to make life better for her and her son, Bezos enrolled in college classes with professors who permitted her to bring her infant along. It was there that she met and eventually married Mike Bezos, a Cuban immigrant who would give Jeff Bezos his last name and step in as his father. Number 2. Bezos' biological father was once a circus performer. According to the 2013 biography of Jeff Bezos by Brad Stone, The Everything Store, Jeff Bezos, and The Age of Amazon, the now billionaire's biological father was a unicyclist and circus performer. When Stone tracked down Jorgensen to interview him for his biography, he had reportedly not seen his son in decades and hadn't realized he was his biological father. Jorgensen reached out to his son, and the two made amends, with Bezos telling him he harbored no oval towards Jorgensen at all, according to Stone. Ted Jorgensen died March 16, 2015, at the age of 71. Number 3. Bezos was interested in how things work and engineering even as a child. When Bezos was a toddler, he reportedly felt he was too old to sleep in a crib and managed to take it apart with a screwdriver all by himself. By the time he entered high school, Bezos had transformed his home garage into a laboratory for his own inventions, Harvard Business School wrote, citing Angela Duckworth's grit, the power of passion and perseverance. Number 4. He started his first business when he was in high school, while he was in high school, Bezos launched his very first business, an educational summer camp for 4th, 5th, and 6th graders called the Dream Institute. According to Insider, Bezos and his girlfriend at the time both worked on the camp and charged its 6 attendees $600 per person. Prior to starting the camp, Bezos also worked at McDonald's for a summer. Number 5. Bezos worked on Wall Street in the early 1990s. After graduating from Princeton University with a degree in computer science and electrical engineering, Bezos worked at several financial firms on Wall Street in New York City, including Fattel and investment firm D.E. Shaw. Bezos worked his way up to become D.E. Shaw's youngest vice president in 1990, but left four years later to launch an online bookstore. Number 6. Bezos founded Amazon in his garage. After launching a prototype of the Amazon website and asking 300 friends to beta test it, Bezos and a few early employees began developing software for the site in Bezos' garage. The space was so small that Bezos was forced to hold meetings at a local Barnes and Noble, according to Insider. The small team later expanded their operations and began working out of a two-bedroom house. Jeff Bezos' wife, Mackenzie Bezos, also played a large role in the founding of Amazon during the company's early years. 
After the couple divorced in 2019, after 25 years of marriage, Mackenzie Bezos received 25% of the couple's stock in Amazon, which was worth about $38 billion at the time. Number 7. Jeff Bezos almost named his company Kadabra instead of Amazon. Jeff Bezos originally wanted to give his company the more magical sounding name, but was warned against doing so by Amazon's first lawyer, Todd Tarbert. Tarbert explained that the name Kadabra sounded a little too similar to Cadaver, especially over the phone. In the end, the founder and future billionaire went with Amazon, named after the largest river in the world because he was building the largest bookstore in the world. Number 8. Bezos was a passenger in a helicopter crash in 2003. While on board an aerospatial gazelle helicopter with his attorney, Guy Ty Holland, and pilot Charles Bella, Bezos was involved in a serious helicopter crash in West Texas after wind blew the helicopter off course. According to Insider, the helicopter landed upside down in a creek and partially filled with water. Bella, Bezos, and Holland all escaped the wreck with only minor injuries. However, Bezos' attorney, Elizabeth Coral, suffered a broken vertebra from the accident. Avoid helicopters whenever possible, Bezos told Fast Company in 2004. They're not as reliable as fixed-wing aircraft. Number 9. Bezos is the owner of the Washington Post. Bezos purchased the newspaper company in 2013 for $250 million. At the time, Bezos' net worth was estimated to be over $25 billion. Immediately following the purchase, the Post Company shares rose 5.5% in after-hours trading. Under Bezos' ownership, the once-struggling newspaper turned a profit in 2016, 2017, and 2018. Number 10. The billionaire also runs his own privately funded rocket ship company, Blue Origin. The aerospace manufacturer and suborbital space flight services company was founded in 2000 and is headquartered in Kent, Washington, which is also Bezos' home state. Blue Origin believes that in order to preserve Earth, our home, for our grandchildren's grandchildren, we must go to space to tap its unlimited resources and energy, the company's mission statement reads. Number 11. Bezos had a cameo role in Star Trek Beyond. Bezos played an alien in the 2016 movie reboot and reportedly made quite an impression on set, with movie star Chris Pine saying the CEO arrived to set with three limousines and accompanied by nine bodyguards. For years, I have been begging Paramount, which is owned by Viacom, to let me be in a Star Trek movie. I was very persistent, and you can imagine the poor director who got the call, you know, you have to let Bezos be in your Star Trek movie, Bezos said at the 2016 Pathfinder Awards at Seattle's Museum of Flight. It was super fun for me. It was a bucket list item. Number 12. He became a self-made billionaire in 1999, at 35 years old. In August 2020, Bezos became the first person in modern history to accumulate a fortune of over $200 billion. As of January 12, 2021, he's worth $181.7 billion, according to Forbes, officially making him the richest person in the world. Number 13. Back in 2010, Bezos almost shut down Amazon's email marketing because customers were embarrassed by receiving emails related to personal lubricants after viewing them on the official Amazon website. Number 14. A good thing about Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos is that he takes customer service very seriously. He lets customers email him directly. If he finds an actual problem, he forwards the email to relevant Amazon employees with a single question mark note. The employee will then need to fix the problem and immediately explain why it occurred in the first place. Number 15. 
Did you know that Bezos has banned PowerPoint presentations and wants his staff to turn in six-page papers on their proposals to encourage critical thinking over simplistic bullet points? If you find this video helpful, then please hit the like button, send us your feedback in the comment box, also share it with your friends. Follow our channel Nelysium and stay tuned for more.